Hi there, welcome in that tutorial to show you the golem for Unreal plugin. In this video, I'll focus on how to replay and render a pre-existing and cached simulation made within Maya in the Unreal Engine. So I'm running golem 6.4 right now, and I made a pretty simple scene with a couple of um, casual man characters hanging around and avoiding themselves, and some uh, standing cars uh, with uh, different variations in the shape of cars and in the shape of characters. So let's say I would like to render this within the Unreal plugin. The easiest way to achieve this is to use the Golem library tool. So within the Golem library tool, you can just save pre-exported simulation as library items. So you can see I'm adding a couple of here. And if I want to bring that pre-existing simulation, into the library tool, I just press on the last button here, which is import simulation cache proxy. It creates for me automatically a new item into the library. I can even, let's say, um, arrange the, sc the screenshot a bit better. So I just uh, zoom in and updated the screenshot. And if we take a look at that library item, you can see what it stores right now. So it stores what's the name of the crowd field, the name of the cache, where has the cache been exported? How many characters are going to be used into the simulation? How many frames? How many characters are in the scenes? So if I'm happy with that, I should just save the simulation cache library and I'm done. I can just jump within Unreal. So as soon as you have installed the Golem for Unreal plugin, you can go within the window menu here and find the Golem library menu it will open the same library tool that you're having within Maya, and you can open the same file than the one I'm using within Maya right now, which is unreal.gscd, which stands for Simulation Cache Library. And you can find back the same items that you had within Maya. So right before uh, loading one of those items, I want to make sure that within my, uh, within my Unreal scene, I've already imported my characters uh, either from FBX or from uh, GCG, which is the Golem character um, geometry file. So here within my scene, I import in my casual car as a new uh, Unreal Engine assets. So once again, I've just imported the FBX or the GCG files. It has created for me all the materials. Um, we'll speak about that part a bit later. And um, within that scene, I'm having a a skeletal mesh object which is named casual car so the name is quite important here and if i take a look at the other uh, directory here i'm having another uh, skeletal mesh here which is called casual man light uh, no, so it's a node with that name if i go take a look at my cache proxy which is the node i'm using right now to replay my characters it's it's uh, linking a character which is called casual car and it's linking another character which is called casual man underscore light so here the name of the golem character file which are used here are the same than the one i'm using within unreal so as soon as the name are exactly the same with the same case you can go within the library tool and just click on any item and bring it within unreal so what it does is it creates a new node in your scene, which is called the Golem Cache node. And that Golem Cache node adds all the information about the library it's coming from, what is the index of the item within that library, how many characters I would like to draw, uh, what's the current frame I would like to replay. So you can change you know, the current frame and see uh, your characters being updating. You can also see that uh, shading variation is... Um, is supported within the Unreal uh, viewport, um, geometry version. Some cars are taxi cars, some cars are regular cars, and they got different texture colors. Same goes for the t-shirt as well. Uh, it has also everything about where's the cache been exported. So exactly the same information which are stored within the GSCB are now loaded within Unreal. And as soon as the two characters existed in the scene, it has linked those characters automatically to the right entry so you know how, which character it should be formed. One really nice and handy thing is that you can still go within Maya and perform some layout operations. So here I had a couple of layout operations on my characters, such as some, uh, some duplicates that I would like to bring back. So here and there. So you can see there are some characters on the left here, some characters on the right here that have been added. 
I can save this as a new layout file. So I've been adding a couple of characters. And if I go back within Unreal and I zoom out, I can ask for a refresh to get exactly the same result and get my characters appearing as well on the side. So if I go into the layout section, I've got a button called go refresh cache layout. And as soon as I press this, you can see it brings my characters and all my layout modification within the scene as well. So it's pretty handy. You can still perform some layout operation here, save them. And every time you want it to be updated, you can go in Unreal and ask for a refresh. So this is the first way, the easiest way to actually load a simulation cache within Unreal. Uh, let's say the characters are not named the right way within your uh, um, uh, asset browser, or let's say you wanted to create this uh, differently. Um, there's another way if you want to. So I can delete that golem cache node and I can manually recreate one. So if I go within um, the different uh, node browser here, I can uh, ask for a golem cache node. So I can create that golem cache node and bring it within the scene. So it creates a golem cache node and everything is empty now. What I can do is load the library file. So sure, I can, uh, if I want to, I can field I can field everything from here if I want to, or I can load the library file. So let's say the Unreal library file, and I can specify which index, so which items I would like to load. So if we take a look at the library, oops, reopen the file. So it starts from zero here. So this is zero, one, two, three, four. So that's the fourth one I would like to load. So I can go into four here. As soon as I provide a valid index, you can see that now everything is filled accordingly with the name of the cache, uh, the name of the crowd field, the start frame, the end frame, and now I'm, and also the number of characters. So it has figured out that I'm having two characters in that scene and I need to manually link those characters myself. So first character I want to load is the casual man light character. So I can plug it and load it here. And the second character I would like to load is the casual car. And as soon as I uh, just plug those two, now I get exactly the same result that previously, which is my characters popping in the scene. Um, and if I change the frame here, um, I can get my uh, workflow being, my simulation being updated. So um, I can render this. I can use the sequencer uh, within Unreal to render this. Uh, I can edit my characters individually if I want to, change uh, meshes, change position, or I can go within uh, the layout tools in my eye and do exactly the same if I want and uh, just refresh. So uh, I hope it makes sense and uh, see you in the next video.